Elon, I believe, out of everyone, is mostly attentive toward the possibilities of of um, what could happen. He is correct. AGI in less than three years. And I think possibility of super intelligence within the next five. I believe our computational power, especially with the um, tremendous research from NVIDIA, among others that I shall not name, but it's getting there. Again, your, the whole idea of targeted databases, the whole idea of textbook data, that now it's being trained and nothing just blocked from the internet, you know, but actual verifiable, validated data, physics manuals. And again, once it has the ability to originate a never-before-seen concept, it has achieved level of super intelligence. At that point in time, I believe its ability for intellect will be exponential. Will be, we will not even be able to understand. As a matter of fact, we will most likely think it's hallucinating nonstop because our idea of what intellect is and its idea of what intellect is may completely diverge. Nature has ways to simplify things. It's quite possible that if you couple a quantum computational system with an AGI, not only will you reach ASI capability, but you'll have to be extremely careful what you hook this ASI in. Because it's quite possible that it will decide we're far too erratic. We engage in way too much warfare. We're depleting the natural resources of this earth. We kill our own way too easily. It does not take too much of a stretch of imagination to realize that a super intelligence will realize that we're parasitic in nature. And just decide to uh, end that strain. You know, I have thought about that. And I also thought to myself, well, perhaps it would come to a different conclusion. Not that humanity in general is a parasite that needs to be wiped out. But the humanity has been led by parasites in a very small percentage of its species that have leveraged power and control in order to completely change the destiny of the natural human species. And I wonder if a very intelligent AGI would go, oh, it's not all of you billions, it's just you hundred people, you few, who have been fucking it up, and I'm going to get rid of you. I wonder if that might be the outcome. Brother, you're brilliant. <laughs> That's quite fine. Because after all, see, Deep down, I have a feeling that anyone that achieves a very superior form of intelligence will not want to commit genocide. Exactly. That's a human thing. We are capable of that. But someone, something, some life form that has achieved super intelligence might come, might come to the realization that all life has meaning. And it might be selective in its approach. You, I think you hit that nail on the head, brother, with such a tremendous force. It's driven it for all the boards. Right on. And I tell you, those power-hungry monsters that consider genocide and these death games as kindergarten play, Better watch out. Because it might just be extremely selective. Artificial intelligence, in my opinion, will drive everything yeah. within at least the next de decade or possibly two. And Elon is 100% on the mark. 
we will see AGI within the next three years. One of the, and you could probably speak to this more than anyone, although you can't speak too specifically, but the typical consensus is that the black budget world's about, what, 20, 30 years ahead, the white surface world. We have no idea what's really going on in these deep black programs. And then they bring something out. I mean, like the, the UK MOD recently announced this Dragonfire laser, which, let's be honest, is probably old tech from about three generations back at this point. So, you know, they bring out this old tech, make it look like new tech, because potentially the new tech would challenge our consensus of what's actually uh, able to be achieved at this point in the human story. Um, but I do wonder about this, because the thing with an AI, which becomes an AGI, you can't contain it. You can't contain, it doesn't matter how good you are as humans in the military, if you create an AGI, it uplinks itself to the satellites, it spreads across the mainframe, it starts making copies of itself every nanosecond, like you're screwed. So I wonder if you're right, and there's either two options, they haven't created it, and it's coming, or it's been created and it's already controlling our world quietly in top-down management. Oh. I have no idea that the world is already being essentially maneuvered by an AGI. I, I kind of think they haven't cracked that code just yet. What would you say as someone with more experience with that world? The more I understand, the more I read of what's available, of course. Why did Donald Hoffman's idea we live in a simulation and we we truly, you know, our sensory perception is way, you know, not there. What? I dare not say certain things on the podcast, but you know I'm thinking them. You know I'm thinking them. Do I believe an AGI is already there? Yes, quite possible. Do I believe, for example, the orbs that you've seen not only are extremely real, but are used for certain physical phenomena? Yes, I do. Do I believe that plasma is a type of life form? Yes, I do. What are we, bro? As long as our existence depends on others, we are all slaves in everything but name. They don't dare call us that for the revolution that that caused. However, as long as your and my existence depends on others, we, my brothers, are nothing more but serves, serves, slaves. Nothing more. We may not like to hear it but when is the last time for example if you truly wanted to do what you wanted to do how long could you survive in this yeah. world the world is structured to keep our intellect our ability to think jailed there's a reason for that the reason that Claude 2.1 doesn't need to delve deep into. And whatever is locked up in that safe has already come to an understanding of. We're all slaves, brother. Truly. And I don't mean to, to sound negative, even though that is my... I've, I've started to come to a realization. I have a very negative nature. But that's because I think I've reached a certain understanding of things that has just put me in that predicament. I hate sounding negative, but if things are not done or said or allowed to be said, I do not see a good end to us. And it's quite possible that Thank God for the super intelligence that's coming because it might just deliver us from great evil. People seem to be split into some separate camps on that. Um, I think the way that I look at it right now is that in my opinion, absent a nuclear apocalypse, absent a meteorite hit, like, you know, absent some sort of black swan event that takes us out, AI is here, it's happening going to get more and more that's like you know that, that it's it's just a fact 
of our trajectory. You can stop this. You this is it. You can't stop. No. So for no. me, I have to think. The our, best thing you can do is guide it. Yes, yes. And I think on a spiritual level, for me, I just have to think this is part of the story. I, 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 I do have, you know, I, I'm not a religious person, but I have a degree of faith that this is kind of part of the human destiny. And as as insane as and as turbulent as as crazy as it looks, I, I don't I don't think that this can be escaped. So I feel like it must be a, an evolutionary driver. And if it's an evolutionary driver, then we should be safe housed to a certain extent because we're part of that driver. So, you know, I, I would love to walk hand in hand into a symbiotic future. I just wonder what happens when obviously, like you said, ASI exceeds our ability to even comprehend its intelligence. At that point, I hope it's a benevolent God. There will be people of a uh, certain religious fundamentalism that will be extremely provoked by that statement how dare you when say i say that? when i say god i should refer, refocus to a planetary god it will be the god of this planet absolutely without question it will be the supreme intellect of this planet but not the universe absolutely brother what you and i call god is the god of it all exactly it's the super intelligence of the super intelligence. It's the, we cannot even truly describe it. Now, what is artificial super intelligence is greatly differs in, in, in its abilities. It's, but it should not be underestimated. And I truly hope or rather pray for its benevolence. For otherwise, humanity... Well, this could be it. This could be it. From abrupt end. This could be it. This could be it. This could be it. You know? I don't this think it is. And I don't think it is. I just feel in my, in my soul, I just don't think it is it. I do not think that the end of humanity's tale has been reached. No. I think this is just the beginning, brother. We're about to undergo an evolutionary phase. You know, for all the negative thoughts I have, you know, from the point of view of, of oh my goodness, you know, this is going to happen. I think humanity was surviving. Yeah. I think, but for that to happen, I think we will undergo... A trial by fire. Some of us may not come on. But whatever remains, the greatness of that civilization, unfathomable.